How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk about why it's so important to focus on the long tail and why it makes your marketing stand out so much more. So if you are trying to get your content, your marketing, your messaging to stand out, if you wanna be unique and interesting and attract the right kind of people, this is gonna be a great video for you. You're gonna to wanna to make sure and watch the whole thing. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. So let's get into this. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears and I make daily marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, I talk about everything from pay-per-click ads to SEO, to content creation, to podcasting. Basically, if it relates to digital marketing, I talk about it here. I actually do digital marketing as an agency, so you're not learning from somebody who's just teaching, but actually somebody who's doing it. So let's talk about making your marketing and your messaging stand out. It is increasingly more crowded on the internet. There's new content sources, new social media sources. People are creating content faster than ever before. It's also more important than ever before that you create content that's going to try to attract the right kinds of people. So how do you make content that stands out or how do you make offers that stand out? And I think the key really here is to focus on the long tail. Now, if you're familiar with SEO, you have long tail key phrases which are basically, right, if somebody's searching for, um, let's say they're, they're looking for dog products. Dog products would be a very broad match, very large and highly competitive keyword, right? But if somebody's searching for a silver dog harness that fits a chihuahua, that's the long tail, that's the specificity. Now I'm not talking just about SEO here, I'm talking about making content for micro markets. Um, digital marketing gives you the ability to target really small segments of people. And so as a result, you're able to really reach out and identify groups of people, create content specifically for them. If you're looking to grow your business, you might think, you know what, I need to be as broad as possible. I need to have a broad message and I need to go for the most broad market. In reality, you need to be standing out. You need to be different. So if you are, for example, a divorce attorney or you're a plumber, if you focus on specific groups of people and you create messages for them, it's gonna be way more effective. Now it does take more time because you're gonna to have to create content that's specifically for groups of people. So like if you're creating content for dog owners, as a great example, if you go out and you create uh, content that's specifically for people who own corgis or people that own chihuahuas or people that own pit bulls, they're different groups of people and they're gonna feel like you're basically speaking to their tribe and it's for them. When you try to create a message that's for everybody, you're as boring as any other competitors out there. So you need to really dive in to figure out who is your target market? What is it that you're trying to basically tell them and how can you serve them better? So I think that most people in general, they don't, they don't like to get that specificity because it takes a little bit of courage to say, hey, I'm making this one thing and it is for this group of people here. If you can create anything that is more specific or uses language that these people use or uses um, you know, the demographic data that these people have, you're gonna be able to number one, reach with better targeting on your ads. If you do run ads, your content is gonna get more shares. It's gonna be uh, you know, circulated among these communities more and people are gonna feel a better connection to you. So if you're trying just to figure out, you know, how can I make my marketing more effective? Really dive in there and make content for different segments and really make it um, so that it's specific and decide who you're going to be serving. If you are trying to grow your business, I know that it can seem like, you know, we just want everybody to be our client and our customer. And I totally get that. You know, I had a, a client and then I did a consultation with the veterinarian who was in Fort Worth area. And I said, hey, who do you want to be your client? And she said, anybody who owns an animal. And on that range, there's a huge discrepancy between people that treat their pets like family, right? The ones that have their dogs that sleep in the bed with them at night versus people who treat their pets like, hey, it's the outside dog. We throw some food at it. It's tied with a piece of rope to the fence. It's a huge difference, right? So you're gonna really want to make sure that you're targeting the right groups of people and the things that are gonna be important to those group of people. So listen, go out and decide who you're gonna create content for, who your market's going to be, and really speak to those people. It's gonna be so much more effective. It's gonna cut through the noise when you're specifically targeting those people. And it's gonna just make your marketing a lot more effective. 
So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below with the market that you're trying to serve. I'd love to know. And if you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can comment with uh, you know any, any questions that you have or any help that you need. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to grow your business with daily digital marketing videos. This is a great spot for you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.